What's up guys, this is Mike. Just wanted to do a quick comparison of the Cooler Master Tempest GP27Q on the left and the Odyssey G7 28 inch on the right. On the left, this is a full array local dimming micro LED panel. And on the right, we have an edge lit VA panel, both these are LCD. But I just wanted to give you a quick comparison so I can show you how big of an impact micro LED has on black levels and the picture quality in general. Now it's going to be a little hard to see because for one the uh, camera makes the backlight bleed and the backlight difference a little more dramatic than it is. In person this micro LED panel on the left is inky black. It's very very deep. You can see just a little bit of blooming around the cursor as it moves around but it's nothing dramatic. On the right, however, you can definitely see that this is not displaying black. It looks more like a dusty chalkboard in comparison. And it's a very stark difference. The one on the left here, the micro LED, has over 500 zones. And the one on the right only has four, and they're vertical. So the screen's basically broken up into quadrants. And when you're dealing with such a small dot, as you can see, that backlight can't really do a whole lot with that. There's not a lot that it can do to bring down that darkness without completely wiping out that little square. So the situation is very different than if you have the micro LED where you have these tiny little quadrants where you can manipulate those. I also wanted to switch over to video and this is where things get really dramatic. Again, you're not gonna really be able to see this as well on camera but on the left, those blacks are very deep. And not only does it get darker, it gets so much brighter that these lights as they shine on you almost look like flashlights shining at your face when you're looking at it. Uh, it gets over 1,300 lumens, as some testers have found. So the peak brightness is really, it's hard to look at at times. It's, it's way up there. It's incredibly vivid. If you've ever had a car pull up behind you and stop at a red light and just blast it into your window, it's about what that looks like. And if you pay attention to the surroundings, the smaller areas, the dark areas, not only are they much darker on that micro LED, but they also seem to maintain a lot more detail, which is not something I expected from this technology. It's just really impressive. It's also a quantum dot on the left, so you have this much richer, more vibrant color palette that you're working with. The gold on the right, it at first glance looks like gold, but it doesn't really have that sheen, that glisten. On the left, it looks like gold that's actually reflecting back at you. It looks like a reflection, which I thought was very impressive. Now, the display on the right is not bad, but if you're playing in a dark room, you really notice the deficit in the darks. As you can see, it is using a local dimming. You can see that backlight fluctuating a bit, but it really can't do what it needs to to provide all that punch. It does get over 600 nits. It's a pretty bright monitor, and there's nothing wrong with that one. But now that we're starting to see micro LED on the market, it's really blowing my mind. Now, this video is very exaggerated, and the difference here is more dramatic than you would often see in games, and especially in movies where the lighting conditions are very realistic. In those situations, they look more similar at times, unless you get into a dark scene. Um, but the difference is definitely there, and you do notice it, especially if you're playing HDR games where there's lots of bright lights or just dark scenes in general, if you're running around in caves or anything like that. But I just wanted to give you a, a video of this to kind of try to show off this difference. Again, it's much harder to see on video, uh, but if you do have any questions about these two panels, I'm planning on making some more videos. Just uh, reach out and let me know.